Hey there guys, this is Purple Ninja Link, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Gaiden. That audio does not look totally balanced. One moment. Alright, hopefully that'll be a little better. Anyway, last time we um, began Act 2, and we fought a bunch of pirates. Look how far we've come. This time, we've got a couple of options. It's fairly evident which one is the way to progress. And... If you've been watching for a while, you know I'm not a particularly large fan of uh, immediately going for progress. Plus, there are shinies this way. So we're gonna go to the Sea Shrine. The Sea Shrine is notable because there's exactly one thing here. But that one thing is a dragon zombie. It has 12 defense and magic defense, 15 attack, and it can move 8 spaces. And it's flying. So it can get to about here. Celica up. We definitely want to bring Valbo closer, because if anyone can withstand uh, 15 attack, it's him. So, I'm just gonna come right out and say, it's possible this is a terrible plan. Because I have no intention of resetting unless I lose, like, everyone. Hopefully I didn't just kill Leon. Um, so yeah, I've only played this map in Echoes. In Echoes, you can Well, in Echoes, the clerics get one of the most broken abilities I think I've ever seen. And that's basically the ability to summon fodder units. <laughs> wow, that's... That's a sprite. Oh good, Leo's not dead. Okay, so at this point we're screaming. At this point we're screaming a lot. A lot. Because... Again, 
in Echoes, you can summon these little fodder units that obviously you don't really care about. Now they can die, and it's fine. But, you can't do that here. So while I am averse to immediate progress, I should have healed Leon. While I'm averse to immediate progress, if this goes south, we should probably go north. Yeah, this is really quickly going south. We lost Jenny. Oh dear. And it healed. Alright, so there's a very good chance that this is going to be me... futilely trying to throw myself at this dragon. Until it kills everyone. I'm just gonna speed up the process by throwing Celica at him immediately. Celica, you mustn't give up. There are still things you must do. So, that took about seven minutes to go really terribly. So, uh, after all of that about not immediately making progress, let's go take these other two things. Uh, okay, excellent. Valbo, go right there. I'll move Bowie up a bit. So, I believe we were told in... I think Kamui said it, actually. Um, a little, like, right before we recruited him that if we wanted to fight the Necro Dragon, or the Dragon Zombie, or whatever, um, we should make sure we know Angel Magic. And that's something that Celica gets. So for the next couple of maps, I'm going to try to give Celica as, mu as much experience as I can. And we can go back after we have that magic. One more. There we go, come up here. Shoot this guy back here.
Okay. If Leo's range was only three spaces, that means they can't shoot across this... Well, across between ships. Which is good to know. Well, Celica, you tried. Bowie, do it a little better, please. Gonna move Valbo up and hit this guy. Which kills him, which is fine. Everyone's pretty much fine on health. I'll come over here and heal Celica anyway. And we'll just end turn. Oh, you can actually make it over here. Have I mentioned that I love that animation? Because I love that animation. Oh boy, that's some, that, that tea is still very hot. Okay. Just to be on the safe side, let's hit this mercenary with Valbo again. Because I doubt that Celica is going to be faster than a class that is almost entirely based on speed. Which means I've got one shot at this. Celica, don't mess up. Good job. You did it. And that levels you up. No magic yet. Nobody else can really do anything. That archer could hit Celica, Bowie, or Leon, Leo, but any of them could counterattack if he attacked them. So I think it's more likely that he's just gonna go after Valbo. The choke point strategy is a little bit silly, but what I need right now is for Celica to level up. Huh. Right, I guess he doesn't have to get close to attack Celica. Alright, Leo, shoot this mercenary. Good job, Leo, you did it. Valbo. Actually, wait. Bowie. Zap this mercenary. Well, you tried. Okay. Now. May. Zap this mercenary? Oh. I probably should have seen that coming. So, instead, we'll come up here. Oh. Well, that was a whole lot of drama for not much actual anything happening. Okay, well, this could have been a stupid idea then. Speed is 5, your defense is 2. 
Your speed is 2, your defense is 3, your attack is 9. So, Jenny would take 7 damage, but she wouldn't get hit twice. So she'd be fine. I want to heal Valvo while I have the opportunity. He hasn't taken that much damage, but it's still good to take care of him. Oh, right. I guess that puts us in range of the other archer. Fortunately, archers aren't very good at hitting people. Case in point. Let's just check something real quick. Speed 6. So there's a decent chance that I'd get two hits if I tried to use fire. We'll try that. Gosh dang it. This is starting to get worrisome. Nobody else can really do anything, because I don't want to get Valvo farther away, so I'll just... Okay, so Salika needs to leave immediately. Because this is getting really bad. Fortunately, no one else can attack at range. So, I'm gonna move May back this way. I'm gonna put Celica here. put Jenny here and heal Celica. And then I'll just leave everyone else where they are. Because Valvo can easily just stonewall everyone. And they're not making it through Valvo. Jenny, go ahead and heal Salika again. Valvo. Go ahead and hit this guy again. Boop. Now, Selica, let's see if you can finish him. Insert Mortal Kombat voice here. Love of all that's good, Selica. One job. That took an unusually long time. That was weird. Okay. Um. Pardon me a moment. It's probably fine. Okay, you've got 14 attack. You have 13 health and 3 defense, so Valbo, Valbo isn't gonna kill him. Unless he gets a crit. And honestly, I don't have any idea what determines crits in this game. He did not get a crit. Please, Celica, hit him. Thank you. 
That's all I needed. Okay, the other archer is on the run. So we'll go ahead and heal up Celica. And we'll end our turn. Well, this is a poor life choice. Very soon, it will become a poor death choice. I feel kind of bad because people that aren't Celica need experience too. But people that aren't Celica aren't gonna get angel magic soon. This guy, and this guy's gonna attack again, which will be the perfect setup for Celica to take him out next turn. At least Valbo's getting some good experience. does she have? 84. So if she can take down two of the next, well, two of the remaining three, she'll level up again. I don't actually know um, what level exactly she learns. Oh, stop. Please, actually. Jenny needs to not be right here. I don't know what level she actually learns, Angel. I just know that it's soon, and if we're gonna beat that dragon, we need it. is that we didn't learn Angel. So I guess it must be level 5. And I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to, uh... like, not use Celica after this next couple of missions so I can get anyone other than Celica any experience. Because... I'm not sure that Alm is level 5. Celica. Jenny, stand on that healing tile. It'll make you feel better. Fortunately, oh, come on. These guys don't actually heal up to full. They only heal up to the point that they stop running. Which is just over... It is anything over half health. For crying out loud. I'm fairly certain 
that fire magic has a set 80% hit chance. Then again, I'm playing Fire Emblem. So an 80% hit chance is a 50% hit chance unless you're the computer. Salvo, for the love of all that is good, please hit him. Thank you. Valvo is starting to get worn down at this point. Though he's one more battle from leveling up. Assuming he hits. Speaking of hitting, thank you, Celica. How's Jenny doing? She's got 16 health. That's much better. Selica up this way. Heal Valbo. And move Valbo up. Eight attack. Six defense. Okay, he's not going to do much to her. Because, yes, he was definitely going to go after Celica. Oh, wow. That is actually significantly more damage than I expected her to do to him. Valva does 10 damage to these guys. How much health does this guy have left? 10. Alright, well, I'm willing to take that. If this hits, because anyone other than Celica needs a level. Mercenary conquered. What items do I have? None. Cool. Yeah, because the only things I've got are the leather shield and the steel sword. Alright, let's go to the sea, because we weren't there yet. Oh. Selic's magic defense is actually better. But you know whose magic defense is the best? <laughs> Jenny, are you prepared to tank? How's May? Yeah, May's good. May's good. How's Bowie? He's alright. He's alright. Uh, Saber actually has decent magic defense. Kamui does not. Valvo does not. So we want to keep Valvo and Leon. Leo. I think probably Leo. Yeah. Valvo, Leo, and Kamui kind of want to stay back in this fight. In case anybody wasn't sure how obnoxious this was going to get, all of those guys have healing magic. Mm. 
And they only have two range. But that means... Leon can't hit them unless they're right by May. We'll put Bowie up here. And we'll put Saber here. This is kind of going to be a dramatic battle of attrition. Which kind of sucks, because battles of attrition are not dramatic. Because like I said, every single one of these jerks has healing magic. And you saw the conga line of healing that they went on last turn. That's gonna happen every turn. Fortunately, they seem to prioritize um, attacking over healing. But there are still all those guys in the back that can't... can't attack. Nothing to do but try to kill us. I mean, no, that's what they can't do. Nothing to do but try to heal their allies. Also, a difficulty with the idea of May tanking anything. May does not have the health for that. Particularly when every attack. Also, every attack she makes drains her health. Nice! That's gonna help a lot. Now I'm gonna have Bowie come in and try to help May. Fortunately, these guys are really slow. Good. May needs to leave. We'll attack this one. Jenny's not gonna be killing anyone. She has approximately the threat level of a small potato. An adorable potato, but a small potato. Ooh, that does more damage than I thought it would to Celica. That's somewhat cause for concern. I mean, I can very easily just have Sel well, just have Jenny heal Celica instead of trying to do one damage. Ooh, that one's on the move. Yeah, heal Celica. We need her to not die.
Okay, that guy's definitely not gonna stick around unless the other ones heal him. May can't stay here. I'm gonna have Leon, Leo... That's the one I keep getting mi mixed up on. I'm gonna have Leo try to soften him up a bit. While there is that chance. And I'll move Bowie up here. Move Saber this way as well. Wow, really? You're not running. You didn't even wait so anyone could heal you. In what world was this a good idea? I guess maybe in the world where... Uh, Celica continues to try to attack you and loses more health. It might be a good idea in that world. Wait a minute. Is that spell in this version? Okay. Celica, fall back. May fall similarly back. Holy crap, it is. I can't control them. <laughs> Leo, you tried. And because they take damage when they attack, getting them down to 1 HP prevents them from counterattacking. Alright, have fun. was in this one. I'm not sure why you think it's a good idea to attack Jenny, though. I mean, I appreciate you letting her heal, but... I mean, there are drawbacks to this spell most of which are pretty readily apparent. They're made of tissue paper. And if... If they manage to kill one of them, nobody gets experience for it. With those guys around, though, I feel better about bringing Celica back up. Because I really don't think that they're gonna attack Celica.
I just have to hope that these guys don't kill all of them. Softening them up so Celica can kill them is good, though. I guess the funniest thing to me about the fact that illusion magic is OP is that it's not because the illusions are overpowered. It is actually exactly the opposite. Oh, cool. Now Celica might kill him. Celica! Yeah, they're on the run, but the illusions are gonna kill them. Which is kind of annoying. And again, an excellent illustration of the drawbacks of this spell. Wizard conquered, I guess. Unfortunately... We don't have... We don't have angel magic yet, but we also don't have anywhere else we can really go. So I'm going to save. Because what we do have is illusion magic. If I'm correct, well, that was a little underwhelming. If I'm correct, we will get illusion magic after one battle. Unfortunately, Jenny has no means of healing. Okay. I can put Celica here, and she's not in danger because Valbo and the Illusion Soldier are in the way. Jenny has no means of healing. Unless I send her to attack the Dragon Zombie. Dragon Zombie is going to prioritize these illusion guys. At least while they're here. Unfortunately, the illusion guys are idiots. Also, that dragon zombie really takes its time trying to kill anyone. Yeah, I was really hoping for more than two. Fortunately, I had really low standards for that, and that did get you angel magic. Now how can Valbar do? Valbo. 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 
His name is Valvo. Quite well. Unfortunately, he's still a far better tank against things that are not giant dragon-shaped and bitey. Three of my favorite dwarves. I also really want to get everyone else the heck out of there. than Valbo, who might be able to take a couple of hits, is Bowie. But even with Bowie, that's questionable. I just really have to hope he goes after the Illusion Soldier. Good. Unfortunately, he healed all the damage I just did. Try Angel Magic. By the power of B- what? Celica, please! For the love of Mila! <laughs> so Celica's in the trees. So she's not all that likely to get hit. <sighs> you have one job! One job! I need more tea. chance to hit, but at least Celica's as good at dodging as she is at missing. The problem becomes, if I attack in the trees now, He's going to get to hit, or he's going to get to try to attack. So I really have to hope this misses. Of course it didn't. I now no longer have enough health to use angel magic, and he's attacking again. Yeah, that was pretty predictable. So there's a reason I saved. One thing that might be worth trying, and I'll try- I'm gonna try to go after the dragon again, immediately, this time. For one thing, I'm gonna start by moving everyone back. other than, once again, Jenny. And I'm really gonna hope that I win the illusion lottery here. I didn't win the illusion lottery here. Actually, given that this is an NES game, it's possible that I'm never going to win the illusion lottery because the numbers are already generated.
You know what? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I'll go ahead and put Celica in those trees. So... She has that cover. And also might get attacked by the dragon. Which would give her the one experience she needs to learn angel magic. But... Now we're just kind of in the same setup we had last time. I just have to hope and pray. Hope and pray. That this gosh dang... That... That... <sighs> Selika, I really need you to hit when you attack. Throw bees at this dragon like your life depends on it, because it does. Because Jenny's really bad at summoning soldiers. Like I said, if when this goes south, I will be running back to the graveyard and trying there to see if more enemies show up so I can give Celica angel magic before we get here. That really is the that really is a preferable option. Because I don't want to have to waste a turn. Waste really my only safe turn. Whacking him in the back of the head with a fireball so I can learn how to throw bees at him. Oh. That's not good. Why did that happen? Oh dear. He's supposed to go after the Mist Soldier, who is now dead. Let's have Valbo come and hit first. I'm trusting you, Celica. You had better darn well hit him with these bees. So we're gonna go to the graveyard, and we're gonna see if more enemies show up. I can teach Celica how to hit things.
that Celica is really bad at hitting things. And I need Celica to be way less bad at hitting things. I should not be alive. <laughs> The thing is, if I... If I move out of these trees to try to go get healed, then even if I get healed, there's a good chance that I will still get killed. Or he'll just come kill Jenny. Which is what he's going to do. don't have enough health to use Angel again. And nobody's close enough to attack. So Celica's just gonna die. dang freaking dragons. Okay. So we're gonna go back. Oh good, you do exist. Okay, who else is really close to level up? Bowie is. Let's go Bowie. Leo is. Let's go Leo. Kamui isn't. Go over here, Kamui. May is not particularly close either. Saber's pretty close, though. We'll have him come up this way. Balbo is not really at all. And Jenny just leveled up. here with an expectation that these terrors, or zombies, or whatever they're actually called in this version, are not going to be a challenge. I really hope I'm correct on that. They do have at least one heck of a lot of health. Saber can't get to anyone. Let's have Leo get this guy. Fortunately, you only needed one experience point. Well, we come over here and help. I said help, Bowie.
for crying out loud. confirm that they are kind of pathetic. And as such, do not offer all that much experience. Yeah, you're only doing one damage to me. May is made of tissue paper. How do you beings manage to do anything? Saber needs to get one more attack in. Hopefully he'll have the opportunity. I mean, I know that he's probably not going to get attacked, because there's no way he's got the lowest defense out of anyone in the area. But I really don't think that I'm going to go this entire uh, map without getting another... without having a turn where something is close enough for Saber to go after it. I say that, but I've been surprised before. Oh, you actually are going after Saber. Were you not able to reach Leon or well, Leo or something? This shouldn't take that much longer. I think there are only these two left. Yeah. Valvo. See what you can do. A lot. A lot is what you can do. Holy crap, Valvo. <laughs> May and Bowie should be able to take care of this one. Good job, May and Bowie. You did it. 
you successfully work together. So with that taken care of, hopefully, for one thing, the uh, random number generator will be nicer to me in terms of hitting and Jenny's ability to uh, illusion. I guess you have to move at least one person before it starts doing the dramatic you're about to win music. I am gonna bring Bowie a little bit closer because I think out of anyone Bowie has the greatest chance of being able to take a hit. That's that's an improvement. I'll take it. I'll also bring Kamui a little bit closer. here. That way Bowie can get in those trees. Yeah, we'll, we'll put Bowie in these trees. I probably... If I have to do this again, I'll give Kamui... Uh, Saber's... Steel Sword for now. I'm hoping... That... The idiots will have the sense to surround the dragon, so it can't move. Because if I can get at least one turn where the dragon cannot attack anyone outside of its own little circle, then this might be doable. I mean, heck if I'm not going to try either way, but Alright. 
Valvo will have attack. Kamui... We're just gonna have Kamui stand here. Okay, that's a good start. Zap him a little bit too. I can't get Leon Leo close enough. If Celica hits with Angel Magic this turn, I can win. Well, I'm glad I brought Leo closer. sure what I was expecting there. Come back around and stand between the dragon and Celica. For the love of all that is good, Celica, I need you to hit with this attack. Thank goodness. Dragon down. That is an underwhelming amount of experience. But at least we have that ring. Okay, so Jenny's gonna get this, so she can heal, and we're gonna go into the Sea Shrine. We have many, many enemies here, but none of them nearly so bad as that, that dragon zombie. Try to build a little bit of a wall here. I'm not sure if Conway can. <sighs> so close. Oh well. Leo can come over here, because he's probably the least squishy out of any of the other 
characters I've got here. And Jenny can come over here because she's the most squishy. Oh dear. Well, that's not terrible. Oh, good. I was kind of afraid of that. Okay. We can do things again. Leo, come back here. Hook this guy a couple of times. Let's see. You have three magic defense. Only two speed. I'm gonna have Celica use her newfound abilities to get rid of this guy. rid of that bone walk. I'm gonna have May and Bowie try to get rid of this one. Bowie is struggling a little bit, but not terribly. He'll be okay. Gosh dang it, Bowie. Now I have to have Saber come take care of this. of them will be able to reach Jenny, that she's in danger. Because really the only thing these guys have going for them is that there are a lot of them.
They're they're pretty crappy, honestly. It's just that they're everywhere. You do two damage to Jenny. Yeah, not even Jenny's in danger from any of you. I took out the only ones that would be dangerous. Unfortunately, to compensate for the fact that Nosferatu practically never hits, it heals by a lot. Wow. The silly thing is, a critical hit and a second hit did almost as much damage as Angel did with a single hit that wasn't critical. Everyone wants to attack Celica. I'm rather surprised by that, given that I'm not sure that Leo can counterattack at close range. Or at least I feel like he wasn't able to earlier. I could just be misremembering, though. close to a level. I'm always pretty close. And Celica's actually pretty close, probably because she's had so many things thrown at her. the second one hit. I'll let Kamui take on this one. Perhaps I should have softened it up with, like, May first. That might have been slightly more effective. Valbo gets another hit, he's going to take down this one. Yup. There he goes. There's probably another battle here. Oh. No? We don't have any promotion options. We have a spring of skill. And a spring of HP. 
I think the HP is going to be more valuable. I'll give Jenny one. And I think because it's kind of funny to me, I'll give Valbo one. And then... I will use... I'll use the skill fountain to buff Saber's already significant skill. Whoa, what? You've got reasonable enough defense, and you can attack from a close enough range that I'm okay with putting you up here. And I think... I'm gonna Illusion. is pretty sweet. surprised by how little damage that's doing to them. Though perhaps that's because I've only used these guys against mages and uh, mages and a necro dragon or dragon zombie. I keep saying, "Oh, I'm going to use the names in this game." And I try but I forget sometimes. If he'd been closer, I really should have put uh, Valbo in um, on point. instead of Saber, but he wasn't, so I'm probably just going to have to heal him with Jenny a bunch. here and try to shoot this thing. Wow, that did way less than I expected it to. Fine. Face the bees. Decent amount of damage to Saber, but 
Saber does a really good amount of damage back. We're gonna have May zap this gargoyle. Wow, the gargoyle's faster than May. I could have Valbo and Kamui try to do something, but I don't want to break formation and risk May or Jenny getting attacked. The whole point of moving them in this position was I don't want my uh, squishy characters getting hit by things. And I mean, the illusion soldiers help, but they're kind of pathetic. And this will let Saber level up, but Saber needs healing badly. That's not where I want him to be. I can probably break formation a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not. I can probably break formation a little bit on the left side because of the soldiers, but that depends entirely on whether the soldiers remain at least vaguely in a position where they're blocking. And I mean, Leo isn't nearly as squishy as May or Jenny. Particularly Jenny. Okay. He's got a decent bit of health, so I can afford to move out a little bit and blast this other gargoyle. Really? Well, I'm gonna move up this way, just to make sure that if anything happens to that soldier, Jenny is still protected. Definitely need to heal Saber. Like yesterday. That was a good time for her to get the uh, double heal, though. Let's try to blast this one. Get a decent bit at least. Help. <laughs> I'm willing to come over here 
just because there's no way anything is going to be able to get all the way around Kamui and the soldier to get to Mei. Even if I can't count on them for anything else. Okay, let me check. 9 health, 18 health. So I should go after this one. Even if I can't count on them for anything else, the illusion soldiers will stay in place long enough for one enemy turn. That's not what I like to see. Celica has more defense than Saber. Well. That's fun. Either that or that one does less damage. That gargoyle is going down. He's just going down really slowly. Nice job, Kamui. nice is that you're now breaking formation, but the majority of the danger is concentrated on the left side now. And these guys have high enough defense compared to these illusion soldiers' attacks that the illusion soldiers are really unlikely to actually kill anyone. See if I can... Well, I'm not gonna take it... Well, I'm really not gonna take it down that way. Leo. Shoot the gargoyle. Leo. Shoot the gargoyle. should have seen that coming. Well, at least May leveled up. Who else is close? Valbo is close. Unfortunately, Valbo cannot get through. I'm not going to move Saber out of the way. Because if anything happens to these guys, because something is going to happen to these guys this turn, they do not have enough health for it to not happen. I need people to still be protected.
This could be bad, though. Never mind. Probably. Nope, mind. Mind. Okay. We're fine. I mean, the mist guy is probably going to take out that gargoyle, which is a little unfortunate, but at least it's gone. Actually, the mist guys are going to take out both of those bone walkers. So remember that whole thing I said about how they're probably not going to steal any experience? Yeah, well. At least I can get Valbo some experience. Okay. I'm gonna give the Holy Sword to Kamui. Because that way, he has something he can do. And I can get back out. No problem. Alright. Well, we've been going for longer than I normally would, but... I would like to finish things up here. We come from Arcanea, a continent to the east. Our little sister was taken by pirates. We gave chase, but lost them around here. They have portraits. They're also the only people here. And here we are at Sophia Castle. You better not go to Mel's Temple. That area is crawling with guys as bandits. A hero has arrived in Sophia. We're saved! Hurrah! Sophia Castle is liberated. Dozer fled to his own lands. Sure, I'm happy, but I'm a bit worried that the Kingdom of Regal might invade. Dozer escaped with a valuable royal sword. It was a gift of friendship from the Kingdom of Regal long ago. No normal person can use it. Dozer's gone, the crops are wilting, and weird demons emerged. What's happened to the Earth Goddess Mila? Celica, it's been a while, eh? Grandfather? Why are you here? Well, for many reasons. I see you've arrived safely. Yes, thanks to my allies. We're all going to Mila's temple. I see. Well, you might want to head upstairs first. You should find someone you've been wishing to meet. It, it can't be. Alm? Sophia's liberator couldn't be Alm, could it? Well, why don't you go see? You're... Celica! Home. Oh, so it really was you. I haven't seen you since I left the village. Yeah, we always used to play together. 
I held a serious grudge against Gramps the day you were sent away. I was sad too, but Grandfather told me why he did it. If you stay in Ram, Dozer will come to kill you. But why? Why would Dozer want to kill you, Celica? That... I'm sorry, I'd rather not say right now. In any case, Alm, I have a request. Can war be avoided with the Kingdom of Regal? That's impossible. King Rudolph of Regal de decided to attack while Sophia is weak. At this rate, Sophia will be destroyed. But aren't we all the same? We should be able to coexist. There's no way. Sophians won't tolerate Regal's barbaric rule. We must retaliate. How sad. I'm sure if we talked, we could come to an understanding. Unless, um, now that the Sophians call you their hero, you want to become their king as well? What? That's mean, Selica. I just want to protect the people of Sophia. That's all. Besides, Sophia's only remaining princess is still alive. I'm planning to search for her. After I find her, I'm returning to Ram. That's not true! Sophia's royal family is gone. But I get it, Alm. You go ahead to Regal. My companions and I are going to Mila's temple. Selica? Goodbye, Alm. And that's the end of chapter two. So, next week will be another indie intermission, and then we'll get back and start chapter three. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye, guys.